Hello and welcome to a weekly reading vlog. It's December 22nd, so the week of Christmas. I am off tomorrow and then on Christmas and Sunday, so I'm hoping to get a, a lot of reading done this week in addition to preparing for Christmas on Saturday. Uh, so far this week, I've started The Summer Before the War by Helen Simonson. I've been listening to this one on audiobook when I'm driving to and from work. So far, so good. They're a little bit into it. We're still building up characters and stuff, but so far, interesting. And I just started reading Piranesi by Susanna Clark as well. Just a little bit into this. I'm just about to head out to do some last minute Christmas shopping at Half Price Books. So let's go. Hello. I don't think I've updated you for this weekly reading vlog yet, and I have been reading Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I am page 194, so almost done with it. I only have maybe roughly about a fourth left to the book. Let's say a fourth. It's pretty accurate. Like, that's how much I have left right there. This is what I've read. So, I'd say roughly about a fourth left. I have been loving this book. It is unlike anything I've ever read. It's fantastical and mysterious. It's so hard to describe without giving anything away and I don't want to give anything away. I guess the best way to put it is as you are reading at the beginning as we're introduced to Piranesi you're introduced to his world which is this 
massive house. This house that goes on and on and on and on and on. It's a labyrinth filled with statues and broken floors and roofs that look out into the sky. And it's like a house, a great, great, endless man, old, old marble mansion in an ocean with tides and ocean and it's hard to describe but it's just the way she writes about it is wondrous and fantastical but there's so many questions and like mysteries and things that are hinted out hit, or that are hinted at that Piranesi slowly starts to question and unravel and figure out it's kind of like a puzzle I think a puzzle is the best way to describe it and the way it's coming together where I'm at now it's just it's so cool I really have not read anything like it and I will update you later when I have finished this probably tomorrow and then We'll see what I read next. I will see you again when I'm done with Piranesi. Good morning. I finished Piranesi by Susanna Clark last night and it was amazing. I definitely one of the best books I've read this year. I don't know how to describe it without giving much away, but it is beautifully written. It's filled with such, it's a, how to describe it? It's a wondrous puzzle of beauty and philosophy. really good and I don't know how to describe it without giving important details away but read it. The best way I can think of to describe it without giving anything away is a puzzle. A wondrous puzzle of beauty and philosophy and I guess that is, would be my description for you. Very much enjoyed. Gave it five stars on Goodreads, which I've not done. And I don't even know when was the last time I gave something five stars on Goodreads, but this earned it. So, what other reading updates can I give you? Oh, I have been, I've started The Summer Before the War, which was also on my December TBR. I started this on an audiobook through the Libby app, which if you don't know about Libby, you should definitely check it out because you can rent ebooks and audiobooks and even magazines and rent them through your library. So if your library is partnered with Libby, you can download the Libby app on your iPad on your phone. I'm pretty sure you can access it also like online through your laptop or PC. Sign up for your library card and rent free books and audiobooks which is what I've been doing for audiobooks here for over a year now. And so I rented the audiobook for this and that's how I started it. It's been a very, it's a slow start and it seems like it's going to be a very slow paced type of read, which I don't mind. It just took me a little while to get into it, which I started to read it physically in the book form. Struggling a little bit, but it was also pretty late at night. And so I started the audiobook instead, and I've been listening to that while driving to work and doing other tasks around the house and it's been a, a good way so I'll probably flip back and forth between the audiobook and reading the physical copy 
and I'm about 90 pages into it, which, if you look, honestly, isn't that much. But we'll see. I am enjoying the gentle pace of it, I guess, so far. And I'm excited to see where it ends up going. But my next, like, fiction book read, I'm debating between starting 1984 or finishing Unaccustomed to Earth by Jumbo Lahiri. Or starting A Winter's Promise. Which I'm not sure. I need to save this. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I. Alright, I'm going to continue reading. Not custom dirt by Jumbo Lahiri before I go into work. I should be able to read this next short story before I have to leave. And that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully have this finished up by Friday. And then debate which one I will read next after that. Okay. I better get reading. Hello. It's been several days since I last checked in. I was looking over the footage to edit this reading vlog and I realized I never gave you an update about finishing Unaccustomed Earth or finishing the summer before the war. So that's what I'm here to do. I did finish Unaccustomed Earth by Jumbo Lahiri. I rated this 3.75, well, debated between 3.75 and 4 stars as like my official rating for this because while I really enjoyed this collection and I adore Lahiri's writing, generally speaking her short stories are a bit sad or unsatisfying for my tastes in general. I love her writing. I, the way, I love the way she's able to present characters and relational dynamics and all that stuff. I love that. But generally speaking, her short stories are on the sadder, more melancholy side. And I find many of her endings unsatisfying for me and my personal taste as a reader. That being said, there's always like one story in each collection I've read of hers that just stands out and I love so much. But this short story collection is focused very much on Bengali Im immigrants to America. The, fi the family dynamics, the different generations as they come over, and then how the immigrate their immigration to a new country and the way that displacement affects those relationships and how they develop as people. And I that's a very interesting dynamic to explore in the stories. And that was very much the theme in this collection. And I thought that was very interesting to explore. My personal favorite short story, the one that destroyed me as a reader was only goodness. I talk a bit about it in my yearly wrap up, but enjoyable short stories, lovely Harry's writing. There's always that one story that just, mm. but probably not for everyone, but I always really enjoy spending some time with her writing and stories. I also finished the Summer Before the War. Very much enjoyed it. I listened to it via audiobook on Libby, like I said earlier. Very good audiobook. I really liked the narrator. The story's a slow burn. It starts off slow, like I mentioned, but it it's a slow burn, but I really liked it. It has a very good 
ensemble cast of characters which you grow attached to and I very much liked seeing their stories come to life as the story builds. Not ha much happens in like an action-y sense. It's much more that builds up towards the end but it focuses a lot on family and social dynamics in a small English town as World War One begins. And I find that fascinating and I, I do like stories that build slowly and like you get to spend a lot of time with the characters and their internal struggles and how those affect their relationships with the people around them and I very much like that. So I would definitely recommend if you like books of a slower pace with a slight literary bent um, especially if you're into <laughs> English based stories Downton Abbey you'd probably enjoy this. So very much enjoyed. I feel like if you have a hard time sitting down and getting into it, audiobook's the way to go because it was a very good narrator and I greatly enjoyed. Um, So that's all for this reading vlog. I think I'm gonna go sit down and edit this together now as we are now going as we are now going into January I'm going to film another reading vlog as I have a lot of books I'm excited to dig into before I start up my semester of school so I will see you in my next vlog if you've read any of the books I've talked about in this video especially Piranesi Go ahead and leave a comment below with your thoughts on those. What have you been reading here as we end 2021 and head into 2022? Go ahead and let me know. I'm excited to see. If you have any books you would recommend to me uh, that are kind of similar in the vein to The Summer Before the War or even for people who really loved Piranesi, do you have any books? I'm down for something similar to that so leave those below go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed if you would like to see more of these videos go ahead and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye